course. Um, can I do that role? Of course. Can Shane do that role? Mm -hmm. Of course. I mean, we got Chris too. We got, you know, Jackson's done it. So, um, <laughs> we're powerful down there. That's the end of the story. Like, we yeah. don't need anything else. That roles are roles, you know, to, to know so that you know when to be prepared. And, um, it's all gonna fit. It's all gonna match. It's mm -hmm. it's good to know the roles, but at the same time, we're capable of mixing and matching. Yeah. What, what did you like most about this group? I mean, I know you only got to spend what, basically three months with them last year, but what, when you think back to last season coming over, what stood out most to you about just this group collectively? The the young and the old kind of meshing together and not not being a hierarchy in a in a negative way but being just fluid amongst each other um pulling for one another knowing that the young guy is extremely talented and and taking the approach of how can we help his talent grow into more of a veteran brain um to the mental side of it you know the the, the veterans really helping on that end of it so I was impressed by that. Sometimes you can walk into a, a clubhouse and, and feel almost an animosity or something with young guys, and that, that was not it at all here last year, and I don't see that being the case this year. You got some different uh, approaches, too. With, with, like Webb, you mentioned, but O'Day. There's a lot of different styles down there, too, even yeah. though you got a lot of guys that are well, accomplished. Yeah, I mean, having O'Day back is great. Uh, completely different look, completely, you know, and. Yeah, all around, it's it's a really good mix. How about, uh, kind of goes under the radar, but re-signing Tomlin a few days ago. Was he, how big was he for you guys last year? Huge, huge. Um, I, I just can't say enough about the quality of people, you know, and how big of a deal that is. The yeah. character behind the guy is, and that's Josh all the way. You know, he's, he's a character guy, and... Uh, puts the pieces together you know he's mm -hmm. everybody loves him everybody wants him back and um then he comes up big in big situations where you know we have to have somebody fill in and mm -hmm. he can do that the uh, three batter minimum rule is not going to directly affect you but how did, have you thought about how it may influence bullpen and you know just as a whole i don't see it being too big of a deal um I don't think it's enough to really change things too much. So, yeah. It's kind of, it, will be, it may take some guys like Jerry Blevins out of the game, but other than that, you know, or yeah. other specialists. You know. Right. Um, other than that, it doesn't have an impact. And, and I haven't looked at it in depth, but if the inning gets rolled over, they can still come out, right? Yeah. If they come in in the exactly. second out. And, mm -hmm. So I feel like it's – that's going to happen more often than a guy having to face three three hitters anyway. So I don't see it changing a whole lot. Is your bullpen a little better suited maybe than some because you've got guys that can get righties and lefties out? Yeah. On both sides. Yeah. And that's the thing, you know, our lefties are able to do that. So mm -hmm. You talked about the pieces. How important is that, the chemistry in a bullpen, that rather than just throwing together the best arms, but also obviously we've got to be talented. But – Guys, you know, are going to get along. You guys, your personalities mesh. Yeah. And you're sitting down there for hours on end. Um, I think it's almost as, por as important as anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Because even even with you know Marty bullpen coach and and Yepi and um, those guys, they're they're mm -hmm. equals to us. So the personalities, the the conversations that go down like those are important things yeah by the time you got here last year you kind of felt like you had made those adjustments and were where you needed to be how much easier did that make this mm -hmm. off season how much better maybe do you even feel entering spring training than you did a year ago a lot better yeah um physically mentally all that stuff is is great